Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna do some nice cosmetic effect which is enhancing the game you are doing. What do I mean by that? Well, the thing which is being spawned under the player, which is just some dust. Once we clip through the wall, as you can see, bam 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 bam, we do some dusting here and it's quite easy to pull off and gives every game a little bit more life. So if you want to know how to do that, stay tuned. This is one up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can. So basically what you're just seeing here is that once the player is moving then we create some particles and this is basically it, no magic here. So if you don't know how particle systems are being created, link in the description for all the other guys because this is an advanced tutorial. Well, stick around because I'm gonna show you how to pull that off and which I'm gonna do universally so we can do actually some code stuff. First of all, what I'm just gonna do, I have a can dust variable, which is gonna get reset all the time. So I won't be spawning every time I um, am walking around those particles, just let's say every 10 steps or every eight or whatever. And this is how you can basically do that. And of course, maybe you have a different system, maybe you have some H beat or horizontal speed or whatever but here and this will work for every game so just doesn't matter if it's like top down or a side scroller you just check the the previous <laughs> um, X and the current X and this is one from the step before and this is the current one if they are not the same or the same with the Y and the previous Y if they are not the same then we just check all right the first this is the first check and then the second check can you actually dust and if you can well we're gonna reset it we should say that hey we cannot dust and then we do something like this i just set an alarm which is zero so this is my first one and then set it to eight steps plus some random value which i define well one line before the random time and set it between, I don't know, minus one to two. Of course here, play around with those times to, so it looks good in your game. But here, I thought this is already pretty decent. So it can be just between, I don't know, seven to 10 steps, which, uh, well, every time we do an alarm. And then once we set the alarm, or the timer runs down with the alarm, because this is just, well, been done once, then we reset and we can dust and so we create a circle and then here we will do the part particle create but because we haven't created the particle we need to go into our setup which we have to put in of course into the room and there we need first of all well our particle system part system create bam then we need our particle we want to create which are called particle dust and then we can actually customize it and for that i use my own sprite which is uh, not too spectacular it's one by one pixels and just different shades of gray and yeah this is basically it i just um, say all right our particle let's define it give it a sprite and then pick one randomly one of those of course you can use one of those inbuilt um, shapes for example this guy here which is the smoke but I tried it it well it was a little bit overkill and it didn't look too good because in the pixel art game um, yeah it didn't look good in higher resolution games it's maybe a different story but here I tried it, it wasn't looking too good, that's why I'm not gonna show you here in this tutorial. So the first thing we want to give it is some 
movement and movement is defined by its direction and the speed so basically i just say hey go in a different uh, direction between i don't know full circle and wiggle a little bit but you can leave that off and then give it a very slow movement speed and then reduce it by a very very small value as you can see 0, 0, 004 and dot 004 so if you minus that it will just shoot out very slowly and then it will go and then stop and this is the effect i want to have the next thing is because dust particles shouldn't be uh, while well, lingering too long around i just give it a value between under a second a little bit over a second so this is good enough then and this is again i guess a little bit overkill from my side because it's just one pixel but still give it some orientation which is just like the image angle or how you want to have it rotated and then we rotate it a little bit but for one pixel and one and a half it's almost not visible but still it looks kind of nice then give it some extra wiggle just optional stuff then the alpha which i think is quite important because you want it to be quite transparent with zero one and zero two and then the last one is almost fade out this is one percent this is like 10 20 percent and for example um we can could already start it now but let's put in some other stuff so you have it finished then we need of course a specific size which is just between one so basically one pixel and one and a half pixels and then we increase it very 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 slightly and then we are almost done yeah we are done so the last thing we want to do we need to create it therefore we need to have well as you can see here we need first of all our particle system which i'm going to put in quite fast copy paste bam 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 then we need the x and y position because our well guy here is being well positioned uh, um hits um, bottom center position so this is under its feet so we can already use its x and y and have not to change it so this is already sweet and now we need the particle we want to create which is the particle dust so this is the specific one we customized and how many do we want to do i don't know let's go for 10 because why not and now actually we can already start it because i haven't really changed anything let's see if i'm lying nope it's working so bam 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 bam, bam. of course here um this works pretty sweet for this scenario because well everything is grayish and then the blending is pretty sweet but for example if you're going over some i don't know like some sand then maybe those particles should be yellowish or if you're going over water then you create those kind of splashes and then of course the particle should be blue so this is how we can do that quite easy and it is in my opinion a pretty sweet effect of course if you do want it to be more uh let's say stylized then of course you should put or uh, ramp up the alpha to i don't know one or something then it's very visible but then it loses its subtle effect but this is of course the thing you have to decide for your own game so that was pretty much it have a good one one up indie